The Surprising Link Between Fasting and Longevity Introduction The Hungry Secret to a Longer Life What if skipping meals could help you live longer? It sounds crazy, but cutting-edge research suggests there's a surprising link between fasting and longevity. Imagine activating a hidden fountain of youth inside your cells simply by not eating for a while. Today on Longevity Lab, we'll explore how fasting, going without food for set periods, might slow aging and extend your lifespan. We'll break down the science behind fasting's benefits from cellular cleanup crews to hormone shifts in a clear visual way. Stay tuned, because we'll reveal how long you actually need to fast to flip on your body's anti-aging switches. Hint, it might be less than you think. We'll also cover common mistakes to avoid, practical tips to get started, and the key differences between daily short fasts and multi-day fasts. By the end, you'll know how to use fasting to add years to your life and life to your years. Fasting and Cellular Aging – Flipping Your Body into Repair Mode When you stop eating, something remarkable happens at the cellular level. It's like your body flips a reset switch. Instead of focusing on digesting food, your system switches to maintenance and repair. For one, insulin levels plunge. No food means no blood sugar spikes, which signals your body to start burning stored fat and triggers cellular stress responses linked to longevity. At the same time, human growth hormone, HGH, surges. One study found a 24-hour fast can boost HGH by over 1,000%. This spike helps preserve muscle mass and tells your body to start repairing cells. Fasting also turns down growth signals that drive aging. For example, levels of IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1, a hormone linked to aging and cancer risk, drop when you're fasting. Meanwhile, your body begins producing ketones, fuel from fat, after about 12 to 18 hours without food. This metabolic switch to fat burning isn't just about weight loss, it results in cleaner energy and less oxidative waste. In fact, being in ketosis can reduce inflammation and oxidative stress in your cells, almost like an internal spa day for your organs. Think of fasting as putting your body into a stress-resistant mode. A little bit of stress, from calorie absence, makes your cells tougher, scientists call it hormesis. As a result, intermittent fasting has been shown to improve many health markers, better blood sugar control, lower blood pressure, and even reductions in harmful belly fat. All these translate to a body that ages more slowly. You're essentially giving your system a chance to focus on repair instead of a constant intake, which over time can mean a longer health span, more years of healthy living. Autophagy – Your Cell's Self-Cleaning Process One of fasting's most powerful effects is triggering autophagy, which literally means self-eating. This is your cell's built-in cleaning service. In a fasted state, cells deprived of nutrients start scavenging damaged or junk parts and recycling them for energy. It's a cellular deep clean. Broken proteins, gummed up bits of DNA, and old organelles get digested and removed. Why does this matter for longevity? As we get older, autophagy slows down and cellular garbage piles up. That buildup contributes to aging imagine an engine that hasn't had an oil change. Fasting unleashes the cleanup crew and helps clear out the clutter, keeping cells youthful and efficient. This is a big reason why eating less or fasting in lab animals often extends their lifespan. Their cells stay cleaner and healthier for longer. Autophagy isn't just about aging slower, it also protects us from diseases. By clearing away defective cells and proteins, autophagy helps prevent cancerous growths and neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. It also removes dysfunctional mitochondria, the energy factories in cells, which reduces the production of harmful free radicals that damage DNA. Think of it as taking out the cellular trash before it causes trouble. Overall, activating autophagy puts your body in a state of cellular rejuvenation, a key to longevity. So, how long do you need to fast for autophagy to kick in? Studies suggest the deepest clean starts after about 24 to 48 hours of fasting. You won't get a full autophagy blast from a 14-hour fast. However, even shorter fasts likely induce some autophagy just to a lesser extent. The longer you fast up to a point, the more your cells turn on this self-cleaning mode. Up next, we'll compare what short daily fasts versus multi-day fasts do for your body. Daily intermittent fasting versus extended fasting. There are different ways to fast, mainly daily intermittent fasting, short fasts every day, versus extended fasting, going a day or more with no food, less frequently. Here's how they stack up. Daily intermittent fasting, the 16-8 method, fast 16 hours, eat only in an 8-hour window each day, is like doing regular maintenance on your car. By fasting every day or most days, you consistently give your body time to lower insulin, burn fat, and do minor cellular repairs. It's convenient because you're fasting mostly overnight, 
Many people find a 16 to 8 schedule, like 8 p.m. to noon next day, doable. Daily IF has been linked to improvements in insulin sensitivity, inflammation levels, and weight management. It's a sustainable habit that keeps your metabolism on its toes and may gradually improve longevity factors by preventing constant overeating and high insulin exposure. Extended fasting going 24, 48, or even 72 plus hours without calories is more intense, but it can unlock deeper benefits. Think of extended fast as an occasional factory reset for your body. After you pass the 24-hour mark, you enter a state of profound ketosis and autophagy that just doesn't happen in a shorter fast. In fact, a recent study found that around three days of water-only fasting triggers a dramatic full-body reset with coordinated changes in many organs and a surge in cellular repair processes. Essentially, certain anti-aging pathways only fully activate when the fasting stress is prolonged beyond a couple of days. The trade-off. Extended fasts are challenging and not something you do frequently. They require preparation and caution, and aren't recommended for everyone. But if done safely, a multi-day fast even once in a while might help reboot your immune system, reduce inflammation more deeply, and possibly clear out precancerous cells giving a longevity boost that shorter fasts might not. For most people, intermittent daily fasting is the best starting point. It delivers a lot of benefits and is easier to stick with long-term. Extended fasts can be like a bonus tool for advanced fasting enthusiasts seeking additional benefits, but always approach those with care and medical guidance if needed. The good news is you don't have to fast for days to improve your health. Even regular 16-hour fasts a few times a week can yield substantial benefits. Common fasting mistakes to avoid. Fasting is simple in concept, but there are pitfalls. Avoid these common mistakes to make your fasting journey smoother. Starting too aggressively, don't jump straight into a 48-hour fast with no experience. This can leave you feeling miserable and discouraged. Fix. Start with shorter fasts, 12 to 16 hours, and gradually extend as you get comfortable. Feasting after fasting. Some think, I fasted, so now I can eat anything. Overeating on junk food after a fast can undo the benefits and upset your stomach. Fix. When you break your fast, eat normally and choose nutritious foods. Start with a small, healthy meal to reintroduce fuel gently. Neglecting hydration. It's easy to forget to drink when you're not eating. Dehydration can cause headaches and dizziness, and you also lose electrolytes, salt, potassium during fasting. Fix, drink plenty of water. Black coffee or herbal tea, unsweetened, is fine too and can actually help blunt hunger. For longer fasts, consider adding a pinch of salt or electrolyte supplements to your water to stay balanced. Giving up too soon. The first week or two of intermittent fasting can be challenging. Many people feel hungry or irritable at first and quit before their body adapts. Fix. Give yourself time to adjust. Hunger and mood swings usually pass after a couple of weeks as your system learns to fuel itself in a new way. Take it day by day and remember it gets easier. Tips for fasting success. Ready to try fasting? Keep these practical tips in mind. Ease into it. Begin with a modest fasting window, say 14 hours overnight, and increase it slowly. This gradual approach helps your body adjust and makes fasting much more tolerable than diving in head first. Stay hydrated. Water is your best friend while fasting. Sip on water regularly during your fast. Black coffee or tea, unsweetened, can help curb hunger and keep you alert just avoid any additives that have calories. Break your fast smart. When it's time to eat, don't go straight for a huge greasy meal. Start with something light and nutrient dense. For example, a handful of nuts, some yogurt, or a small portion of protein and veggies. This helps your digestive system ease back to work gently, and you'll feel better than if you gorged on sugar or fried food. Be consistent, but flexible. Consistency will give you the best results. Try to stick to a regular fasting schedule most days, but life happens. If you need to skip or shorten a fast once in a while, family event, etc., it's okay. What matters is the overall pattern. Don't stress out. Fasting should fit into your life, not dominate it. Listen to your body. Fasting shouldn't feel like torture. Some hunger is normal, but you shouldn't feel like you're going to faint or completely miserable. If you ever feel dizzy or extremely weak, stop and eat. Also, if you have medical conditions like diabetes or hypertension or take medications, consult your doctor before starting a fasting routine. Safety first, embrace fasting for a healthier, longer life. Fasting might sound like a fad, but it's actually rooted in our biology and history. Humans have gone through feast and famine cycles for millennia. Now, modern science is showing that strategically skipping meals can trigger powerful anti-aging processes in our bodies. By giving your system a break from constant eating, you're allowing it to repair, rejuvenate, and reset. 
in ways that just aren't possible when you're eating 24 seven. Think of fasting as a tool to help synchronize with your body's natural longevity mechanisms. It can help you age more gracefully by keeping your cells clean and responsive. And it's free. You don't need to buy an expensive supplement, just a bit of willpower and a plan. Beyond the lab results and studies, many people find that fasting gives them more energy, mental clarity, and a healthier relationship with food. You learn that a little hunger is not an emergency, but rather a state where your body is hard at work healing itself. So why not give it a try? Even small changes like an earlier dinner or skipping that late night snack can kickstart some benefits. Over time, those small changes could add up to big dividends in health and longevity. Remember, the goal isn't to starve yourself, it's to find a balanced fasting routine that makes you feel empowered and healthy. If you learned something new and useful today, hit that like button and subscribe to Longevity Lab for more science-backed health insights. We have plenty more tips on living better, longer. Drop a comment. Have you tried fasting or are you thinking about it? We'd love to hear your experiences or questions and share this video with a friend who might be interested in the fasting longevity connection. Thanks for watching and here's to your health and longevity. Medical disclaimer. This video is for informational purposes only. It's not medical advice. Always consult a healthcare professional before making big changes like fasting, especially if you have any medical conditions or take medications. Fasting isn't suitable for everyone. For example, it's not recommended for pregnant or breastfeeding women, people with a history of eating disorders or certain chronic illnesses. Be smart, stay safe, and listen to your body.